If your teacher has set up an assignment in a Moodle virtual learning environment, there are a few possible ways that you may have to submit it. I will go through four possibilities. The first, about uh, the most common assignment submission, is uh, to upload a single file. You may have to upload more than one file for an assignment. It may be possible that the assignment is to do with submitting online text. And finally, there is the offline activity. The tutorial will also explore the Gradebook, which is the tool to help you keep updated on all of your assignments uh, work across your Moodle course. To submit an assignment, first log on to the VLE site uh, using your normal logon page. Then enter the course, which should be listed in the course's central block. The assignment here will be uh, the digital, in the digital editing course. Uh, your assignment should be listed on the course page, and the teacher, in, the, in this case, informed the students that uh, the image editing assignment is the one that's due. You can see the symbol of the hand handing in the piece of paper for uh, to identify that as an assignment. Once clicked, you can see details such as the title of the assignment, which the teacher has set, the details of the assignment, and of course the sa status including uh, an indication to the student they have not submitted work for this. Uh, the work obviously hasn't been graded yet. Uh, the the, the due, due date with time and re remaining to the due date is also indicated to the student. In this case, you're required to uh, send um, an image that you've edited. So to start this process, you click the Add Submission button. Now we're going to use the Initiate the Moodle file, file Picker by clicking on the Add button. And on the left-hand side of the dialog box that appears, click the Upload a File button to get the file and pick it from your computer. So let's choose it from our computer. We'll choose the image that has been edited. Then if you wish to change the picture, uh, for example here the picture we've saved is called picture 2. We we'll call it uh, file, image editing file. Uh, the author name uh, that automatically is attached is the name of the student, in this case Hertz. And now we just upload the file to send it from our computer to the VLE. Once you're happy that this is the correct file that has been uploaded, click the Save Changes button. The submission will take place and you can see that the uh, submission status now indicates that the work has been submitted for graded. It's not yet graded and that the file uh, that has been submitted by you is tagged on to the submission status. In older versions of Moodle, the process to send your file may appear something like this with an Upload a File button the option to choose a file. A, a similar file picker will appear where you can upload a file and again choose the file. Again select by double clicking as normal. The option again in the file picker is there to change the name and click on the upload button to send the file for marking. Again save the changes to be happy with your submission. Click the continue button in the older version, your uh, submission, your only confirmation of submission may just be an indication that the file is uploaded. Once uploaded, of course, there may be a case where you wish to edit or change your submission. That's easily done by clicking the edit button. Uh, if you wish to change the file, you can select the existing file, choose the option to delete the existing file, confirm the deletion, and then add or upload a new file by following the same file picker process, going through the browser, changing the file, naming it if necessary, and choosing to upload. Then by saving the changes, your new uh, submitted version will appear. For an assignment one, one, that requires more than one file to be submitted, when the file upload takes place, you will have the option to add a second and third or fourth subsequent file, depending on how many files are uh, requested from uh, you by your teacher. You'll see these files will be listed in the files area and by saving the changes your submission status will show now two files instead of one. Now we're going to return to our digital uh, photography course. We will show an example of a reflective report that isn't in a file, it's typed directly into the, the VLE. So uh, once again, once we've clicked on the assignment, which is now a reflective report, you can see the details of the assignment and the status of the assignment, which is not yet submission, submitted. Uh, the students now can uh, click on the button to add their submission. And this time, rather than uh, uploading a file, 
the text is typed directly into the box. I find, uh, just in case you're worried about your internet connection being lost or dropped, it's best to type up the work in a word processor first and then to copy and paste it over. You can see my word processor in here, I just select my reflective report, right click to copy, so I'm just going to choose the option to paste in the plain text. The warning box indicates that uh, this feature is not supported by the browser. This is often the case, so it indicates to use keyboard sh shortcuts instead. So the keyboard shortcut for pasting on the Apple Mac is the command key held down followed by the V key. Or in the uh, Windows-based systems, it's the control key held down in combination with the V key. Control C to copy, control V to paste our shortcut keys. So we'll just click on save changes. Once you submit, uh, a message indicates that your changes have been saved with a button underneath to edit the submission to make any further changes prior to the, the deadline. The final assignment we'll look at here is uh, work for the exhibition. Because this work is physical work that it will be viewed on the night of the exhibition, it can't be submitted in digital format. So in this case here, the assignment really just acts as a reminder for the student that a deadline is coming up. Uh, you can see here that uh, this assignment does not require you to submit anything online, it is, is given as a submission status. Uh, it can, however, be graded. So let's take a look at how a student can look at the, the grades that they receive for their work. The, as a student, uh, particularly if you've um, many assignments across the course, it's useful to keep track of your grades and feedback from the teacher using the on the left hand side uh, panel under the settings area, there should be a grades book link there for you to do that. Once you click on the, the link, a uh, grade book for all, uh, with all your assignments uh, across the course listed, the grades, uh, possible percentages and various calculations of grade across the, the course, and any feedback that the teacher gives about assignments um, is placed in this area. <laughs> This uh, tutorial covered the following topics. Uh, first of all, uh, it was shown how to upload a single file uh, assignment submission to a Moodle VLE. Uh, you were also shown how to amend or how to change or delete and edit the, the file that has been uploaded. Uh, then a multiple file upload was shown. The online text submission and the offline uh, assignments were also uh, demonstrated. And finally, it was shown how a student can enter their gradebook to view all of their, their progress on all their assignments across a Moodle course.